Unfortunately, I went on a girl's trip and I made a mistake. Like, wait, this is really going on right now? You know, I just feel like everything moves so damn fast. So I really didn't catch it until it was too late. What the hell did I just do? I can't believe I cheated on Andy. Now that I have you two together, having separate conversations with you, I'm not gonna lie, I definitely learned a lot more about the situation. And on top of that, you can definitely see the hurt in your eyes, Andy. And Erica, I can definitely feel your regret and remorse. But now that I do have you guys together, there is some questions that I wanted to ask, you know, you both. One, I wanna start with Andy. Andy. Yes. Do you know all the details in regards to everything that happened between Erica and the guy that she cheated on you with. Yes, she told me all the details. To my knowledge, I know everything. And now that we're here, Erica, is there anything else that Andy doesn't know that you probably wanted to add or you just want to leave everything where it is as far as what he knows already? When I first told him, I didn't tell him the truth. I told him half the truth. He found out real information on it, I ended up telling him the truth. So he knows everything that he needs to know. That's the truth. Is this the first time you cheated on Andy? Yes. Wow, that was fast. So there's never been any other situation where, because remember, there's different levels of cheating. I only asked that because I know you were saying that you, you weren't feeling, you know, like you were getting enough compliments. Mm -hmm. I guess you didn't, your insecurities got the best of you. So, you know, in a way, it kind of seems like you might have been vulnerable and like any man who came to whisper sweet nothing in your ear, mm -hmm. it would have been like, oh, damn, okay. So I'm asking, like, was there any other, you know, cheating situations? I was very vulnerable, number one, so that's true. And um, physically, no, but conversations, things of that nature, yes. Andy knows about all of them. Andy, do you? I, I don't know. Andy, he's saying he doesn't know, but I remember we spoke about it. So, I'm going to just leave it there. I just want to go back a little. Andy, yeah. is there a reason why you don't give Erica the compliments, you know, that she's looking for? Or, or let me ask you this. Do you give her compliments? Well, I probably complimented her before, but it's something I'm not used to. Is it something you can see yourself getting used to? Well, I could work on it. That's the most I could say. I mean, hearing that, Erica, like, does that sit well with you? Do you feel like Andy has the capacity to actually work on complimenting you more, noticing you more? I don't know. Okay, I guess only time will tell. Now, Andy, I have to ask you a question. Yes. Since you guys have been together, has there ever, ever been a time where you cheated or thought about cheating on Erica? I thought about it. Really? Yeah. Was this early in the relationship, in the middle, or? Yeah, early. Okay. She's, she's seen everything I did. So I should Messages say I don't know because. And a whole bunch of, you know, inappropriate conversations, but nothing went that far. That was really just entertaining. That was it. Okay. So you never had a physical interaction with anyone? Whether it was went too far as having sex, but you never had a physical interaction with anyone? No. We, oh, you're, t you're talking about... Um, I'm just... No, you don't have to say what it is. I'm just no, 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 no. I ju it just popped in my head, though, what you're talking about. Okay. I, do I... That wasn't my fault. And I would never say it was my fault. That was not my fault. Okay. Erica did say that she has insecurities. To your knowledge, do you know what these insecurities are? Like, have you heard her speak about it? Yeah, she, she tells me she's insecure about a couple things. Erica, in your opinion, how has Andy handled you telling him about your insecurities? Not okay, in my opinion. I feel like every time I would express it, he brushes me off or he just doesn't want to talk about it. 
I feel like since we've been through this situation, though, he has shown that he actually, you know, wants me to feel comfortable in my own skin. So I will say that. But I would say previously, I've never felt like he cared. Hey, I, let me ask Andy this question. Do you really think it's over, like, between her and the guy in terms of conversation? Or do you have, like, PTSD? And every now and then, you probably, like, let's say, like, she moves a certain way with her phone. Or she goes a certain area a and point. take her phone, like... Do you get like flashbacks or do you look and be like, mm, she's probably still talking to him? Like I told you before, it's an it's a instinct that I get. I don't just naturally go to her phone. It's just something got to be bothering me. But and I, that's when I, yo, I don't know. It's go. like he said, it's, it's God. I'm telling you, it's God because every time Andy would ask for my phone or every time Andy would go on my phone or go on my watch, by the way, that Apple Watch is not your friend, people. But every time he would go butt. in that, he always found something or he always knew something. So, yeah. And I have to get an instinct. Mm -hmm. and but oh, It's not random. Even, well, it is random, I mean. Even for me now, like, I try, like, this morning, for instance, I was listening to music. And I wanted to bring my phone in the bathroom when I took a shower. But I'm just like, just leave it here, E. I don't want him to think nothing, so, you know, I just, now I just leave my phone, like, how I used to. I used to not care about my phone. I used to leave it around any time, any day, like, whatever. So, I just started doing that again so that, you know, he could be comfortable. Is trust going to be a factor in the relationship moving forward? Because it seems like, you know, you guys forgive each other rather quickly. Hell yeah. I feel like you was asking good. me? Well, collectively, you both answer it. Yeah, it's going to take some time. I don't know. I don't know me. But it's going to take some time to trust her again because, like I said, I put all my trust into her. Can it reach 100% again? I don't know. Who knows? Time will tell. At this moment, if you were to put a percentage on it, how much do you trust Erica? Me, right now? Right now. Ah, probably like 10%. Wow. And y'all still, still live together and sleep together and all that? Jesus, that's... 10% is a low number. I mean, Erica, I mean, you're sitting right there and you hear this. How do you feel about Andy only trusting you 10%? I mean, can I get mad? Can I feel a way about that? I mean, I'm not saying you should feel a way or get mad, but 10%, that's, that's barely trusting you. Yeah. I mean... I was at a point where I barely trusted him in the beginning of our relationship, so... See, but that's what I'm saying. You say you barely trusted him. Did he give you reasons to not trust him? Like he said previously, you know, conversations, things of that sort. Mind you, majority of those conversations I found in his laptop and I was pregnant. So would you say, like, you being pregnant and the emotions that come with pregnancy kind of added on to, like... Your mind playing tricks on you, or no? Cause the proof was there. The no, no. When I say there. mind playing tricks on you, like you saw something that your average person wouldn't see as something crazy, but no, they will see it as crazy. Cause oh, it looks really? Inappropriate as hell. Are we talking like pictures and everything? We're talking pictures. We're talking saying how he's gonna sex have sex with this person. I don't think that's I funny. I remember. No, 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 no. I just remember. Like that. it wasn't funny. Then and it's not funny now. Nothing happened. It doesn't matter. I feel like cheating is cheating. At the end of the day, if you can visualize yourself having sex with someone, if you can visualize yourself throwing, pulling somebody by the hair and donkey effing them, as you said, that's <laughs> crazy. That's what you said. I'm sorry. That's it was a long like, time ago. I like, get but, it, but, but he's asking remember. me a question, so I'm just gonna answer it. Like, no, no, no. there was a lot and, of things and, and, that he did that didn't have to be physical, but it's just the simple fact that you were around these women. So I don't know if one day, if I wasn't there, it could have went to that level because you visualized it. The next step is what actually doing it. You were only one step away from doing it, so I can't say that. And then on top of that, too. There were other situ another situation that happened that I don't want to talk about, but you know, and that was a physical situation. But we're talking about you cheating on Andy, but now you say that there's something that happened in the past, and I know you're not trying to make this about Andy. I'm not. I want to be very clear because I feel like people are going to look at this moment right now and be like, "Oh, she's trying to flip it on him." Da -da -da -da. No, 
I know what I did was completely wrong. You feel what I'm saying? I physically cheated on him. He never physically cheated on me. But there was an incident where there was a video that was sent to me. And he was in Dunkin' Donuts at the gas station holding hands with some chick. And I don't mean holding hands like this. It was interlocked, like, yeah. first of all, I came from Mozzie. I went in to get donuts. Wait, before you elaborate, I'm sorry to cut you off. No, no, it's, it's Can short. Can we just say that before you went there, I told Andy, mad people I know are going to be in Mozzie. Okay. Behave yourself. And it's sad you, that I even had to tell you, you that. You heard that? She chose to tell me that. But I shouldn't have to. You should but already know. No videos from Mozzie was ever shown. I didn't do anything. No videos from Mozzie was ever shown but because your friends are smart enough to know if you acting up, they're not going to record you. You have people in there. Exactly. And I got a video so sent you, to me. Of Dunkin' Donuts or some girl that holded my hand? No. She was holding his hand and he was talking to her like that. Bro. It's so much a, a video or a picture. No, it was a video, and it was oh, all long. It was long enough to be a video, and I posted it. I don't know what to say. Like sometimes videos and pictures can be interpreted the wrong way, based on your imagination. Now, me hearing the way you describe it, Erica, it sounds crazy. It was crazy. Not to throw nobody into it, but his sisters even said it was crazy. So I know I'm not making it up in my head, you know. Well. I'm glad you said sisters because that's going to lead me to my next question. How were you guys as friends and family impacted by the news of, you know, you cheating, Erica? I feel like family-wise, they were hurt, they were disappointed, they were mad, they were angry. I feel like it came from a genuine place, though. I felt like friend-wise, it was too mixy for me. We'll get to the friends in a second. Like, we're not getting too deep into it, but going back to family, you're currently living with Andy in his parents' house. Mm -hmm. So was it easy to walk around and, you know, after everybody found out, did you feel uncomfortable? Well, I'm kind of glad that he kicked me out when he did because when he kicked me out, that was the same day that they found out. So I really wasn't there to experience Oh, you know. uh, so you didn't get the immediate reaction from the family? No, and I thank God for that, because I don't know, I don't know how it would have went. Um, but after I had separate conversations with each of them individually, and I basically, you know, we had a conversation, and you know, they they gave it to me, but I feel like. They understood where I was coming from, not saying that what I did was okay, but they understood how I could feel like that in my relationship. But they still riding for Andy, you know, which is understandable. So yeah. A couple couple weeks, days removed from the situation. Um, where do you guys stand, like as a as a couple, and where does your relationship with Andy's family stand? You asking me, or you want him to answer? Well, no. Collectively. We both can answer, like he said, collectively. Collectively, like, you know, you go, yeah. She, you saying I can answer is telling me you don't know where we stand. I'm saying that because this is the God of truth. The ball is in Andy's court. I'm the one that messed up. I'm the one that have to face reality. I'm the one that has to go through the guilt. We came to understand each other and we're like, this now. Before we was probably like this. Now we're like this. The I situation. Say before we were like this. All right, but the but situation it, made us stronger. Why did it make us stronger? What was the key that I wanted to put out there? I don't know. You gotta tell them. My memory. I feel like with God, that helped us. I feel like He's the reason why. We became stronger. I feel like everything that happens is for a reason. I feel like he allows things to happen for certain reasons. I lost faith in him with a lot of things, but I feel like with this situation, my faith actually grew stronger. And now, I told Andy, now every day we pray together. And I feel like that's helped us. I feel like that's very therapeutic. You know? Okay. So, 
and this is just me being objective. Some will sit here and say that if you only trust that 10%, how can your bond be as strong as you say it is? That's a great question. That's none of your business. <laughs> <laughs> We're working on it. Oh, but, but hold on. J just to jump off topic real quick. You guys have another thing that nobody wants to really mention, but you guys became young parents. When you think about it, some would say you guys didn't really get to live your lives, you know, individually to the point where you got everything out your system and then was like, all right, you know what? We're together. we parents now. We're going to make it happen. Would you say part of you guys still wants to live that single life and go out there and, you know, see what the world is like and then come back together and be like, all right, yo, I know what it's like out there. I don't want it. I'd rather be with you. Or would you say you guys are content and you know you want to move forward together? Now I know I want to move forward with Andy. Before, I didn't. That's the honest of our truth. Because the way I acted, you yeah. know what I mean? And that, Andy that, and I yeah. got together at a very... I was vulnerable with personal things. He was vulnerable, you know, unfortunately, with the loss of his brother. So Whoa. we got together... I feel like everybody says that. No, no, no. I don't mean like you were stuck on that place. I mean you I were still vulnerable, but I mean no, when we met. I was, when I, if I was, I wouldn't be going out. Okay. I was fine. Okay. You know, it took me a long time to grieve, as in show emotion. But after, but after I did, I was fine. I get it, but after, but remember, we got together literally like two months after his passing. So yes. it's like, you know, we moved really fast. I'm not going to sit here and lie because when I met Andy, we were inseparable. It was like, I would leave here, I would go to my grandmother's house, and we would still be on the phone. I would fall asleep on the phone with him. We'll wake up, we're still on the phone with each other, like... But let me let me let me stop you real quick because I do want to ask a question because you said between um, the passing of Andy's brother and you guys getting together, it was two months. Some would look at it and say he didn't have enough time to grieve, or you basically was like the the rebound, like you just came just in the nick of time mm -hmm. to you know take Andy away and you know. Basically, it wasn't enough time for Andy to just sit there and collect his thoughts and realize his next move. What because... am I sitting there and collecting? No, I, okay, I understand. I just said I grieved. Okay. okay. People may not think I was good, but I was good. Okay. I'm not like everybody else. I can't sit around and mope forever. Huh? I'm not going to do nothing. Huh? That's a very, very good point. Very good point. But like I said, going into, you know, being young parents and, you know responsibilities that come with being parents. Would you say that you guys were prepared? No, we're still not. Nobody's ever prepared. We're still not prepared. Did that play a factor in like, with you, Erica, like, you know, you going on vacation, did you feel like a little bit of relief because like you didn't have to deal with the responsibilities of, you know, being home and having to always worry about August and stuff like that? Like, it was like you I took did. a break. Yeah. Okay. But, it was weird because I feel like I still thought about August, you know, besides that one day. Yeah. But I, that he was still on my mind. It's like, but it's like I haven't done anything for myself in a long time. So it was, it was like a, it was refreshing. And, and that's completely understandable because remember, there are a lot of young couples out there, young parents who go through these things and sometimes, you know, no, like Andy said, nobody's really prepared for anything. But I guess I just wanted to get like you guys' perspective of on um, being young parents and did it have anything to do with your relationship, like having a strain on it? Yeah, I feel like it did. I feel like we were so in inseparable, but again, we moved fast. So when August came, we were literally, what, a year in? I got pregnant within a year of me and Eddie being together. Because you moved in. Yeah, I'm not blaming it on August, I know, though. I'm I just know. saying, I'm you saying know? That. And because I love him. So when he looks back at this when he's older, I love you, August. I'm not blaming it on you. I'm just saying it did because now you're focusing on still trying to keep a young life, um, you know, still trying to hang out with your friends and stuff. You're, you're mixing that with, all right, well, I have to get a job. I have to pay bills. I have to be responsible for another human being. You're mixing that in with trying to be the best parent you could be. It's a lot. It's a whole lot that goes in with it. So 
of course it's like how do you have time to focus on one another at that point because you're so stressed out with everything else that we lost focus of each other and do you agree we definitely lost focus of each other Okay. Now that we're on the subject of August, throughout this whole ordeal with you guys, you know, not really seeing eye to eye and, you know, the storm that you were going through, how did it impact August? Um. Or did it impact know, him at all? Yeah. yeah, it impacted him. When I um, kicked her out, <laughs> when I kicked her out of the house, and we had to go, you know, see her. It was hard. Just watching him cry for his mom, ask for his mom at night when she's not here, Dad, I don't want mom. That took a toll on me too. Basically, you know, it, it's like you couldn't keep him away, but you was also upset with her. So you was caught in between. Yeah. How did it impact you, Erica? I didn't know how bad it impacted August until one day him and Andy came and it was time for me to give him back to Andy and he's like, um, I'm like, all right, pa, I'll see you later. And he's like, no, I want mom. And I'm like, all right, so come with mom. Like, you could stay with me tonight. Daddy will get you tomorrow. And he's like, no, I want dad too. And he's like, I want mommy and daddy. I want my family. And I'm just like, you're three years old. How are you understanding what's going on right now? And I feel like in that moment, I broke down and Andy was just like, I can't do it, just take him. And I took him and now I'm dealing with him crying for dad. So it was really hard. Do you think he realized something was going on? Yeah, definitely. I mean, Andy, was it hard to see August asking for his mom knowing what you guys were going through? Yeah, it was hard. Wow. Tough time. Yeah. Absolutely, absolutely, something. I want you guys to turn to each other. And I basically want you to look each other in the eye. Don't look away, don't look at me, don't look at the wall. Erica, I want you to tell Andy what do you expect or what are you asking from him moving forward in the relationship to make it better. better I'm asking for communication I'm asking for understanding um, romance and faith in me now now and aside stability, stability aside from asking is there anything you want to tell Andy he said don't look away I'm sorry <laughs> um I say I love you, and I'm sorry I hurt you. And Andy, same for you. Is there anything you expect from Erica moving forward? Is there any changes you want? Like basically, you you have the floor. All I ask for is honesty. That's all I ever ask. To please. That's it. And um, as far as her apology, yes, I accept your apology. I accept your apology. Give, give some kisses. Let's end it with some kisses. <laughs> some hugs and kisses. <laughs> Bad white lips. Exactly. <laughs> Thank you.